Now here's the soil pulverizer, fuel testing update. This now has the Bobcat attach plate, Bobcat standard, because we're using the Bobcat until we get the life track in order. Some modifications. One, definitely a safety chain on this adjustable arm, which where you can adjust the length at which the pulverizer tines are located. Since these small bolts hold this together, this is for safety in case the bolt does come out. A bolt did come out one time, but since it was still connected on the other side, uh, nothing happened. Now here, the major issue we have is the fact that these hoses keep getting ripped up because the pulverizers move up and down. Um, lots of heavy duty activity, you just gotta protect the hoses. And this routing right here, with this mess, protect it like this whatever way we can that ends up working this hasn't popped yet we had two sets of hoses break already and this one looks like it's pretty stable and this is a system whereby you have a bypass valve and a freewheeling system attained by this unidirectional check valve connecting forward and return to allow you free flow upon start and stop hydraulic motor. Uh, report on the tines. One tine came off, so be careful about welding. Uh, from time to time the bolts for the tines get loose, so like this one is loose here, so we gotta tighten it down. Hydraulic motor is robust so far, no issues. The coupler here, no issues. This is a spline shaft on a PTO style hydraulic motor. So far, amazingly well, as far as how this works, we can feed two machines definitely with this, with prepared soil. And tomorrow we're gonna set up a third CEB press, so we have two of the OSC CEB presses and a Powell machine on this pressing operation right now, with Floyd Hagerman with a Powell machine helping us out. Now here, this one bolt, another issue. And this bolt here, this whole assembly, you see it's, it's getting warped out. Uh, this should be more solid. That's starting to bend with you, especially if you move back and forth side to side with this machine, which you do sometimes. And another issue was basically this hinge on top broke off. The, the sheet metal broke off, so I it's coming off again. other issue I can see is this bolt here that's kind of loose you see that's a little loose there um, that gets a lot of abuse too so this should be beefed up make sure this bolt is more solid that's about all other than that very happy with the performance basically I mean if you look at all this soil up there that's just the base of the pressing